Sorry, did you not get the message? What, that you couldn't be bothered to hear me out? Yeah, do you right. I haven't got room in my life for another head case, Pete. Thanks all the same. <sighs> Look, I made a mistake once. At least I don't go around stabbing people in the leg with screwdrivers. And selling drugs, yeah. You're nothing but a hypocrite. You know, people told me to stay away from you because you're bad news. Oh, did they? Oh, well, you want to count yourself lucky then, because you're better off without me. Well, not every bloke you meet is like Cameron, then. I am not going to take that risk, Pete. What are you scared of? Look, I never hid anything. All you had to do was ask. It's too late. Take it you got those answers. Drink? Yeah, why not? To experience. Narrow escape, learning curve, take your pick. Well, she's off her head. Oh, is it any wonder after what she's been through? Not that it's an excuse. Yeah, well, I'm done with her. You could do a lot better, believe me. <laughs> well, do me a favour. Well, check the queue at the front door, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. You're a good-looking bloke with loads going for you. Any single woman with eyes in a red would be after you like that. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry, I should go. The bar, it was like a bomb in a baby oil factory. William Carey. I intend to. You wanted. Yeah, I just need some advice. Join us in the bar when you've finished. I believe there's some pictures doing the rounds. Mm. Um, I heard you were in the house yesterday. Adam doesn't waste much time. Maybe because you wound him up. Well, I picked up some of my things. Handed him a key. What more do you want? It's for the best. Yeah, maybe you're right. We can all move on with our lives. So no hard feelings? You did what you had to do. Can't argue with it. Right. See ya. <laughs> 